Welcome to Ritual Skill Modeling. This is part three of the Mafia Battle Skill Galactica Skill 14105. In this part, I'll be finishing off the model, so I'll be doing the engine section, putting the decals on painting, obviously. So let's jump into this. So I'm just building the engine as well. There's a couple of little inserts that I've already put in. And this just simply goes on the back. Like so. So what I've done here is I've taken three wires and combined them into one, and uh, I've joined them. They're obviously I've already done the new one. And I just simply twist these together, solder them into place. And I have a larger sheath, and then shrink it. I'm just connecting the last light now. This is the red one for the would be the top of the series of engine hot ports. Right, so, so that's three lights, so I've got two blue and one red. Let's do a light test. So yeah, they're okay. So the red will go up around here and the two blue will go down at the bottom now. And to connect the lights I'm gonna do the red one first, so Put a hot glue down. And I'm just gonna put this around about here I think. So that's all three on now. Um I'm yet to tidy up the wires, I'll do that off camera, I'll just um tuck them all in and glue them down. But just do the light test, as you can see that's more working. Um they're still a bit soft so I can't swing it around though, so I'll try. And see if you can... There you go, you can see, you see the white go coming out. Oh, it's time to close it up, everything is everything is down and, and placed in. And like this, so there we go. And now I just push it in. Start to put the side paneling on now. For the initial, just three bits. I've already done that one side now. Just move that wire so you can see it. That, that, that. And the other side in there. This little last bit's a bit tricky to get in. You have to leave it in. So it helps if the side panel is not 100% set yet. The last of the side panel. Come on. It, this is also the underneath section. So there's a couple of braces to go on, on the underside, there's that one there, then this one. And you just pop on, no drama, no issue. That's the engine section on now. Onto the launch base now. And then um, there's a simple construction here, just building the walls first. So that's the bottom I've made up, and I forgot to. Um, Cut the hole for the wires, so I took that one off and recut it, and um, I've just cut this one. Um, and all I done was just put some side snips and cut it off. There was no need to show you that bit. That, that's the hole there. So was, you can see it there, just where my um, t walking tweezers are holding in position. I'm using Rebel Aquacolor. And it's a uh, 90 silver. This is for the interior. And I'm just painting up to the location points on this. You're not actually going to get to see much of it at all. Only a tiny little glimpse. And I suspect the light will wash it out anyway. So I'm not bothered about finesse. So I'm taking. I have what I call 301 white, 61 emerald green, green, and 51 ultramarine blue. And these are for the blinking lights. Obviously I'm not having them now because I haven't got any of the tiny LEDs and it'd be too much of a pain to put in actually. So I'm just going to paint these in. So I'm using my cocktail stick. 
just to put tiny little dots in. So I'm putting the LED about here, so it'll shine through, and it's going to be a yellow orangey LED. So I may pick up, it may not, I'm not sure. So just thread the wire through the bottom part of the launcher. So that's the sheaf off. Now that I can now I can connect the wire. Solder them in. And then I'll do my light test. And there you can see it split up there. And now I'll just uh, close it up to put the top on. I was just taking the top off because it was a bit too bright. So what I've done, I've got this sweet wrapper. Yep. And I'm just going to diffuse this light a little bit. And that should give me a diffuse look. So that's a lot better. And now I've got to try and fit the stand I'm going to do in the base colour of whatever I could call 90 silver. So I've time to start painting it and I'm going to be using for the main colour Mr. Hobby H21 off white. So I'm going to start off on a relatively flat surface here um, just to see how it's going to be laying. But I think I put too much thinner in it and it would be more suitable for airbrushing I think. I'll carry on with this, it may need one or two coats We'll see what happens. So that's the first coat on. Um, I thinned it down too much really. Um, I added more like a, a wash. So I'm switching over to Revo Aquacolor 371 light grey. And it goes down a lot better, I think. It's more true to the colour on the studio model. Although, as I said before, I'm not one for being 100% exact anyway, it doesn't bother me that much. But I do like a close approximation and this is it and this is actually going down very well on top of Mr. Hobby's colour. So I'll get it all painted then a whole bit to dry before I put on the decals. So after a coat of clear I'm putting on the decals. As you can see I've speeded this uh, process up the decals are actually a bit thick, um, so I needed uh, some crystal clear uh, to flatten them down. But there's not that many to do actually on the model, just all these various little red stripes that I'm putting on. So that's all the decals on. And now for a little bit of weathering, just to dirty it up slightly. So I'm using here. They make oil brushes, and this is Starship Filth. So as you can see, I put a little bit of dab on here and get some thinner. Take my brush and then just brushing it out so it makes smudges and so forth. So as you can see there, it's just start to dirty up just a tiny little bit. There's no no need to go mad. So that's it all weathered up. Uh, it's just a light dusting really in this um, filth colour. Makes it just look dirty. So all I've got left to do now is put on the stand. So I'm taking my metal rod and first of all I've got to thread through the wire. And so again, no, I'm not cementing that on because I'm eventually I'll probably put an electrical switch on here and the battery inside to turn it on. But at the moment, I'm just leaving the wires bare for testing purposes. So that brings the um, model to an end. Um, I recommend this kit for anyone, it's um, quite easy to put together. Um, like any of those things, you get what you put into it, but uh, an office builder can uh, crack on with this kit without any problems. If you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds, uh, particularly this one, and see how this went along. 
if you subscribe to the channel, you'll uh, be notified of all my upcoming builds and updates. Hit that like button, and of course, leave a comment. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.